this idea that in Australia that we can have one symbol meaning different things to different people is really important. Aboriginal people are really good at understanding the world through different lenses and appreciating that other people have different lenses to understand them. So to have this one symbol that within the modern Australian colonial history is read as a convict arrow can also be other things for other people. And so for Aboriginal people, we see that symbol as an emu footprint, which of course then sort of starts talking about a whole range of other issues and cultural stories for us connected to that convict story as well. site will create thousands of emu footprints across the entire forecourt of Hyde Park Barracks and I guess remind people that there are these other perspectives of country and ways of understanding these buildings. The Hyde Park Barracks really represents that colonial administration for how colonisation spreads across the country. That sort of severe disruption that we're still coming to terms with in so many ways. Part of the project was really about connecting that story and as a result the materials that we're using to create the artwork, the stones, have been collected from quarries that exist out in Wiradjuri country. The white stone is from Cowra and the red stone is from down in Griffith in Riverina country. In a strange way sort of mimicking that colonial activity but in a different way, that idea of seeking permission from local Gadigal elders to have this project here, to um, bring Wiradjuri material onto their country to tell a story that connects us all. But also that idea of engaging with young Wiradjuri dancers from both those places, Cow and Griffith, coming on and following that material, almost like culturally carrying it um, through their dance and through their connections, um, and then being able to perform on this side is part of that process of working in a culturally appropriate way. creating a temporary artwork and the process of it being destroyed by how people engage with it is really important because how um, we engage with our history, how we actively engage with um, our cultural identity, that idea that once we start focusing on one element we start forgetting something else. So that process of um, creation and destruction are really important. Mm -hmm.